what is going on guys as you can see in the top left corner of our screen we are currently on wave client now uh, i'm actually recording on this today because the uh, beta recently updated with a uh, timer disabler and a strafe disabler all packed into one which is absolutely lovely like when you use the uh, timer on the highest it can go uh, you can go up to 15 BPS with uh, the scaffold, which is kind of crazy. Like, it's so fast to the point where I actually can't even control it. So I've had to turn it down to a 1.5 uh, timer from 2. Hopefully this guy can uh, die for us here. Yeah, there we go. That's lovely. Right, this guy's being annoying with the bow, so we're going to have to kill him. I do appear to be flagging a tiny bit, uh, unless that's just lag or something. I don't know. It could be anything, to be honest. I'm having a, I'm having a rough day. But now this client is actually a uh, fully private beta, but I believe in the future the uh, dev is talking about making it a uh, semi-private uh, release, which I assume is something like Azura has going on. So yeah, hopefully that means that at uh, some point in the future, you guys will actually be able to get the client yourselves and uh, experience this. Uh, for yourself because it is seriously amazing like look at this scaffold like that's not even the fastest it can go it can go uh 0.5 faster on the uh timer so uh hang on, actually i'll turn it up to the max it can uh go that i'm aware of this guy's hopefully gonna die yeah <laughs> he couldn't do anything you know i'm trying to avoid this uh timer speed mainly because it uh is really hard to control just because of the sheer speed as this guy's about to experience uh the uh timer is not very fun to go up against i actually didn't get much of an opportunity to use it there yeah this client is actually pretty flagless as well especially considering that you can speed at 15 bps and scaffold at 15 bps as well like it's actually kind of crazy now i am actually going to turn my timer back down because it's much easier con to uh control on 1.5 Five. But yeah, it works seriously great, and one of my favourite features is actually that it has a uh, auto phase feature, which basically means that uh, whenever you get into a new game, it will automatically uh, phase you out of your cage, which I think is pretty cool. Because you know, it's just one less extra thing that you have to do, and it's just great. And honestly, I find it's little quality of life things like that that make clients like great to use. These guys are about to die. <laughs> what a little bloodbath! Jesus Christ. The inventory modules are also extremely fast, as you've just seen there. It zooms through your inventory and just cleans it out. These guys are about to get absolutely obliterated in just a second here. It does try auto-blocking with my bow, which is pretty interesting. Like, look at this. What, what, what is that? <laughs> Again, bear in mind that everything you're seeing now is, uh, you know, it's a beta build. It will probably be different the time uh, the client releases. Yeah, it looks like we've got a lovely little six-kill game going on here, which is pretty neat. I've actually been bypassing for a while. I did have like a 45-minute session going on before this, which is pretty good, actually. Especially considering the amount of staff on, like, they're kind of going ham at the moment. The visuals are also extremely clean, as you can see. Like, they're nothing really special, to be honest, but they do look incredible, I think. And to top it all off, the FPS optimization is actually insane. Like, uh, I'm not showing off very very well now because I'm only getting like 190. But uh, there have been times where I've been getting like uh, 300. And in Limbo, I actually get 700, which is incredibly good for a cheat client. I don't know why now I've brought it up. My FPS is just being kind of donkey. But uh, trust me, it is, it is great compared to some other clients. Seems like this game is full of pussies because none of them are mid by the looks of things, which kind of sucks. That guy's gone. He did not stand chance. We're just going to uh, speed over to this guy, hopefully. Yeah, what's he going to do? Oh, Ashley, I've got a fun idea here. You ready for this? You ready for this? I don't think you are. Oh, wait, it died. Is it going to teleport back to him? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> I did nearly just kill myself because I completely forgot about um uh, the no fool. But honestly, the uh, vanilla fly mob exploit is honestly the funnest thing ever. You just right click on a mob and you vanilla fly anywhere. It's just so, it's so fun. I think to be honest, that's probably my favorite thing to do at the moment. Like uh, me and Slatty, we just mess around with it in doubles and it is the best thing ever. Like watch this in a sec. I'll actually, uh, I'll do it again. This is being annoying. Uh, yeah, here. Whee! And look, I'm out of the situation, just like that. Hopefully I don't die here, because this guy's been really annoying with his bow. Sometimes I do genuinely wonder how that vanilla fly exploit, uh, exploit works, because, like, how how what goes wrong in your code that means you can right-click a zombie and go flying? Like, look, I'm just gonna... Whee! I'm gonna die here. <laughs> this is uh, probably gonna be the last game, because I have been recording for uh, 12 minutes. 
But honestly, it feels like three because you just have so much fun, like, scaffolding around at, like, 15 blocks a second. Like, there's just something so fun about this. Like, meow. Like, it's just kind of crazy. And I didn't even mean to kill that guy. <laughs> he left the game. Poor guy. The only real uh, complaint I have about this client is that it doesn't have a high pixel fly. But I guess it's not really a complaint, it's just a kind of suggestion. It's just that a lot of clients have uh, high pixel flies at the moment. A lot of them do silent flag right now. Uh, but it is just nice to have one, it's like convenient and it looks cool. Uh, this guy, I don't know what is going on with his internet, but it's not going great for him. Looks like we've got two pretty easy kills here actually. I'm going to build up because I'm, I'm a bit all over the place at the moment. I want this guy's time warp pulse because you can vanilla fly with them. Like, uh, hopefully he can drop me them for me. Yes, we've got three, three time warp pearls. You guys know what that means. It's time to, uh, <laughs> to vanilla fly across the map. Right, this guy here is going to be our victim, I reckon. Right, we've got to wait for the, uh, teleport back. Whee! <laughs> I killed myself again. I keep forgetting about the fact that this client has no no fool. It's kind of inconvenient when you're trying to vanilla fly around, but it's so fun to just like, zoom. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm trying to have more fun with my videos because I feel like they're like kind of too formal and boring. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think of, I guess, the uh, new kind of format. It's a lot less professional, but more, uh, I guess, kind of crazy. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Join my Discord. There is a pulse of giveaway going on. And yeah, other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!